mind map. Today we will talk about median. So let's begin. Before we move on, let's understand types of averages. There are two different types of averages, mathematical average and positional average. In mathematical average, there are three different types of mean, arithmetic mean, geometric mean, and harmonic mean. In positional average, there are two different types of averages, median and mode. So in this video, we'll be mostly focusing on median. What is the median? It is the middle value in the ordered data set. It is found by ordering all the data points and then picking up the one in the middle. If there are two middle numbers, take the average of those two numbers. Let's find the median. Here there are two cases. In case one, when the number of observations is odd, then the median is the middle number. So here we have a sequence. Three, six, seven, eight, five, one, and two. There are seven numbers in the sequence. In order to find the median, we are going to need to follow some steps. In step one, you will arrange the numbers in increasing order. If you arrange them in increasing order, you will get this sequence. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight. Step two is to find the middle number. So what is the middle number in the sequence? It is five. In this sequence, there are seven numbers. So it's easy to find out the middle number. So if there are millions of numbers in a set, then how do you find the middle number? There has to be some formula to find the middle number, right? So you can use this formula, n plus one over two, which is nothing but just seven plus one over two. If you simplify this, you will get eight over two, and this is nothing but just four. So what is the fourth number in the data set? It is five. So step three is the median is the value at the fourth position, which is nothing but just five. That is why our median is five. Let's find the median in case two. When the number of observations is even, then the median is the average of two middle values. Here we have a data set. One, four, two, three, seven, nine, eight, and six. There are eight number of elements in this set. Eight is an even number, so that means there are going to be two middle values. So in order to find the median, we are going to follow a few steps. In step one, you will arrange the numbers in increasing order. If you arrange them in increasing order, you will get this order. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and nine. In step two, you will find the middle number. Since eight is an even number, that means there are going to be two middle values. The two middle values are four and six. In this set, there are only eight numbers, right? So it's very easy to find out the two middle values. But what if there are millions of numbers in a set? How do you find out the middle number? There has to be some formula to find out the two middle values, right? To find out the first middle value, you will do n over two. If you simplify this, you will get a over two. And this is nothing but just four. So what is the fourth number in this data set? It is four. So that's the first middle value. This, to, to find out the second middle value, you will do n over two plus one. If you simplify this, you will get a over two plus one. If you solve this again, you will get four plus one. And this is nothing but just five. So what's the fifth number in this data set? It is six. So the two middle values are four and six. In step three, you will find the median is the average of two middle values. 
4 plus 6 over 2 is nothing but just 10 over 2 is equal to 5. So that is why our median is 5. Alright, let's review what we learned today. We briefly talked about types of averages. We mostly focused on positional average, which is median. We also found the median in two different types of cases. That's all about median. I hope you learned something from this video. Please like and share it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching!